In this code sample, we create web config file that doesn't allow anonymous users to enter, meaning that only if the user is authorized, he will be allowed to enter to get the content he asks. And here we specify that we are interested in the forms infrastructure authentication um, available in ASP.NET. And here we specify even the name of the cookie that will be used underneath. We also specify the login page. Now, look what happens when I try to browse a web form one, a simple SPX page. As you can see, even though I ask to get web form one, this isn't the page I get. I'm redirected to the login page. Now, the login page um, displays a username and a password text field. And um, when the user press the button, then this is the code behind that executes. Um, and here we try to authenticate the user and by default the the credentials are kept in web config file so if I try to enter something that is not correct look what happens I am not allowed but if I try to enter using Ronin and Almorg password for, ex for example then I'm allowed and I'm redirected to the web form one web page I ask.